What are you thinking? It's gonna be a juicy one. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be a darn good one. A really good one. We got here and there's a lot of geese on it, more than we've ever seen. Yeah. We were just expecting some good ducks, but it uh, turns out there's gonna be some geese too, so. Might have to wait a while on the geese though. Do we'll what? Might have to wait a while on the geese. We'll see how the ducks go, but if we get done on ducks, probably no sense in waiting on the geese, don't you think? Yeah, I don't want to wait on the geese today. I say we go to our favorite restaurant. Oh yeah. We might as well. Oh yeah. We're going to be out here anyway. Yep. Let's do it. Fred's losing his mind. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. We are at one of our, one of Preston's, one of my favorite spots. Uh, this is Preston's go-to spot. Y'all have been here with us a bunch. Uh, the last hunt that we did was last year. Uh, it's when we got the banded mallard. Uh, pretty special day. So this is the first hunt of the season and it's looking up. It's looking really nice. Look at these two right here. Single out front. Oh. Did you hear that echo? Hard right. Hard right. Shoot that bird. This one, shoot it. Woo hoo! <laughs> Look at all those feathers. Oh, Bob, get ready. We might get a might get a shot. Yeah, Greenhead City, dude. Yeah, all green. Mallard heaven, obviously goose heaven. This is by far the most geese we've ever seen here. Yeah, Shit. it's pretty nuts. Drop back, back. Look at that, stud muffins, dude. Checking feet? Yeah, I'm checking feet. Dang right, I'm checking feet. <laughs> Oh, he took the long way around. Two. 
shoot him. Yeah. Here, here. Let's go. Hopefully the geese will do that. Yeah. What? Good thing is there's a lot of landing strip here. Yeah. We're hunting a backwards wind. That's the only way we could do it today. But it's not much wind, so he'll drop. Bob left. Shoot him! Shoot him! Well, he made you work. See how much I screamed at him? Yeah. I just had to keep screaming at him. That's the only way to get him in there. I think we all killed him. I think we all Shoot him. Let's shoot him one more time. Oh, he's dead now. Great. That wasn't a very goose-like thing. To that was not a goosey-like thing here. They, you see how they cut though? They came in and then cut real yeah. quick to land. Yeah. Go left. Good boy, Fred. He. This guy's lost now. He's like, I'm just gonna come back so you can take me home. That was the only shot call I got out of that deal. Yeah, they weren't far above us. No, I mean, what was it, 15 yards above us? Yeah, they were right there. 20? They're over the top. Take them, baby.
Spoonies? Yeah, somebody got a decoy there. <laughs> honker, honker too. They actually got closer as you guys started shooting. <laughs> that was horrible. That was terrible. Hey, swings and misses. It happens, boys. All right, shoot that duck. Jeez, what time is it? It is 10.45. 10 10.45. Dude, what is with the hen spoonies? I don't know. It's got green. Yeah, look pretty. Got the greeners. The boot lips. Uh, he said earlier that, uh, didn't you say that was one of the signs was doing circles with yeah. avian bird flu? That's, That's what, what I read somewhere. That's what you read? Yep. That's the first time I've ever seen a honker making making loops he was doing it forever he came in but he landed by himself came in all remember how he came in there yeah there was, he was like three thousand geese sitting out there and he went and landed alone yeah at first i was like oh preston was like what do you what what do you think he's doing i was like i bet you with all the ice he's just keeping it he's trying to open up water right uh turns out no it had to, i'm i am no scientist by the way but all the googling we've been doing or whatever uh Probably avian, avian bird flu probably. So he never stopped. He literally never stopped doing circles. The other one's like that too. He's, the other one's still out there, isn't he? After yeah. all of our shooting, nope. he's walking around. Oh, no. Or is he behind the island? We can't see him standing on the ice again. I don't know, but that was weird. I've never. It was like a. You know how spoonies do that? They go in circles. Yeah. It was like that, but hunker. We took care of him. Put him out of his poor misery. Yeah. You guys have seen some. And yeah, we took care of some spoonies too. <laughs> Uh, if you guys have seen this or know anything better than I do, drop a comment down below and let me know. Let all of us know uh, if you've encountered it, if you've read more about it. I'm, I'm going to go home and read up on it a little bit. But I'm going to say it probably was because I've never seen that before. All righty. Dude, that's a messy pile, boys. <laughs> that's a good looking pile. Pretty solid on the spoonbill shoot today. <laughs> I don't know about the honkers. <laughs> you got a couple. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they did it right hey, for we, a backwards win. We just can't hit the easy shots. Hey, it's all right. You got to hit them in the head. If you don't hit them honkers in the head, dude, they're just well, going to keep... Well, I hit that one right at the chest. Right. Did he go down? Yeah. Yeah, well. We're talking about the two that flew away. 21 gun salute. Yeah, yeah that, that was a... <laughs> <laughs> Seven times three shells. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the avian bird flu. If you guys have not looked into it, heard about it, do so. Get on the old Google, type it in, avian, A-V-I-A-N, bird flu. Uh, here's a little bit that I know about it. Uh, there's been a lot of write-ups, um, Instagram, I think Delta Waterfowl, uh, Ducks Unlimited, all, all this stuff. All these people have done huge write-ups on it. Wildfowl, I think they've covered it quite a bit. Hi there, big dog. Hi, Frederick. Hello, what'd you do to your nose? What you been doing? Judge here! Judge, before we get, it, before I go any further, Judge went on his first duck hunt and absolutely killed it. Here he is. Oh, there's our big dogs, little brothers, look at them. Absolutely killed it. He uh, went on his first goose hunt today of the season and he is smashing. So that video will be coming up next. But back to the avian. So 
number one thing don't quote me on these numbers this is just what i was told from buddies right so i have a falconry buddy uh he's actually the guy that brought the falcon the hawk i should say the red tail hawk last year and uh he called and he was like hey is avian you know a huge problem in your area because i'm gonna bring my new falcon and yada yada i'm like man i don't know i haven't heard much about it here uh i just heard you know during last conservation snow goose season gerald and the boys when they're in south dakota iowa hunting uh they've seen a lot of it in the snow geese so what i'm getting at he informed me that during the september teal season this year just this last september texas uh, game and parks i i would i would imagine uh, did a test on uh, killed teal, right? Hunters with teal. Um, and I don't know how many they tested. I don't know that. But out of the ones, so it, let's say it was 100 teal. Random teal, different people across the state. 100, 1,000, I don't know. But out of the ones they did test, 85% of them had avian bird flu. Okay? So number one, what I've learned, it is not harmful to humans in small amounts, I think. But I don't know if you ate, you know, 20 geese in three days or something, if it's gonna harm you. I don't know, I am not a scientist on this. So I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to act like I know exactly and everything that I'm talking about. Um, but I've seen a lot of videos now on Instagram, just folks covering it and showing the symptoms of it and it's real you know uh, honkers will just if if they're in the field they'll lay down and their head just does this kind of like that honker that was on the water his head was just doing this and he was spinning circles same thing he, the honker would just barely be able to stand up do circles and his head doing this so if you guys have encountered it on your hunting or looking at roost waters or anything drop a comment down below and let us know let's put some information down there for folks um other than that i don't know a lot about it but we are seeing it a lot now uh scouting you're seeing snow geese do really weird stuff and yes it was a good hatch of juvies and the juvies kind of get a little dumb and do some crazy stuff but not like this uh yesterday i was scouting morning and i was scouting a roost um and there was like a dozen juvie snows um under a barbed wire fence huddled up in like three foot grass very odd guaranteed they had it as well so yeah it's it doesn't look like it's getting any better um right now so stay aware of it uh, learn up on it but again if you guys know anything more than me please drop that information down in the comments right now so we can all be informed i would greatly appreciate it the old podcast is fired up. It is doing so good. And we're having a ton of fun over there. We got giveaways, random giveaways over there. Um, having a lot of fun. We'll see ya. Drive safe. We got clients leaving from t going back home to Texas, down to Dallas. Um, what the heck was I saying? <laughs> I've been so busy, having so much fun. Uh, being busy like this is so good for me. It's so healthy. And uh, I love going to bed completely exhausted and getting ready for the next day's hunt and planning, planning, planning. It's amazing. Podcast. It is always linked down below. It is for adults, folks. For adults. It's not for children. Just putting it out there. So I get to be myself over there. I get to say what I want. I get to be the Bobby over there that I can't be over here. Let's put it that way. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not. But until next time. <laughs> The other one's like that too. The other one's still out there, isn't he? After yeah. all of our shooting?